Good day, doctor. Today we are going to do the pair programming for our exercise three, which is HTTP and JSON. My name is Kai Xiang. And my name is Chong Ling. Okay, so now we'll start start the first thing, which is the the model. Um, we already use the extension where we can generate the getter and setter. Okay, so now, so I'll do the copy constructor first. So now I'll do the model for user and I'll just copy this. And use it here so this is a... okay i've done okay now let's try to compile okay if no errors then we can commit it okay okay So we will now do the service for the user. So inside the function, we have to um, await the rest.get. Um, uh, I think you type comma instead of dot. And here, Users, the first the first um, parameter is not in. Okay. Okay. So I'll proceed to do the um, to do service. So here we have the CRUD. The first one is get get method, and it's final list. It's a list. It's on JSON. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You did that. So I, yeah, I think that's all for the to do service. Okay, let's try to compile. Okay, it works. So let's continue with the git commit. Okay, just now we have done until B and now I will continue to do the list or to do for the current user. So for this, I need to add a couple method refresh to do list. And let's take and to do list feature. So don't ID. Uh, so after successful login, they need to refresh to get the to do. Okay, let me try this first. Okay. Log in and let. Okay. 
success. Continue to do the implementation on the body part. So uh, here we need wrap wrap the widget with future builder. And the type should be this of uh this of to do. And then the future is say dot to do this future to do to do this future. Okay. Oh I forgot the getter and setter. Let me copy this. This is uh, to do. This is a future value. Okay, then. Okay, it works perfectly. Okay, now we will proceed with add new to do's and then edit a to do. Okay, so now I'll be performing the delete delete the to do list function. So so under here we need to for the to do list service dot remove to do and inside here we need to pass the the email that we want to delete. Okay. To do list dot remove index, and then we will need to set state and we need to use this function at the body step dot remove do and index okay so let's see uh, whether we have an error or not Okay, so it works fine and we'll commit it first. Okay, so now um, we'll do the function for the refresh. So we already have the function ready here. So we'll just implement this function under the float file, which is on press of this floating action button. And we will refresh. To do this. Okay, so I think that's all for this function. We will now um commit it.
So we, I think we already done the, done the pair programming and we will proceed to the walkthrough session now. Okay, just we have done the everything in the application. So now we will go through the application. So here we have the home page before login. So it will show the empty container here. So when we click the login button, we'll, the login page will be pop out and cancel and it will return to the main page. So uh, if I type the wrong password, then it will show this invalid message. And if I type the correct password, oh, uh, the, the button here will uh, hide or show the password. And the, if the password is correct, then I can proceed to log in. So here, it will display a list of the to-dos and the floating button at the bottom has plus. And when, when we click on the plus button, we can add a new to-do. For example, to-do one and some description here. And okay. And the new to-do will be added here and also reflected at the uh, mock server. And when we click cancel, then nothing will be added. So uh, we can long press this to do to delete it and the delete will be reflected in real time also. And then uh, we can also edit the, the existing to do. For example, I type something here like one, two, three, and then uh, mark as done. And then uh, it will be straight through. And then we can see the to do title is updated. And then uh, if we edit, but then we click cancel, then the result will be not reflected. Okay, now I will proceed proceed to demonstrate the refresh button here. So I can demonstrate the update by using the REST client. For example, I update the I add a new new to do here. So I send a request. And then uh, successful insert into the database. So we can see here, but the result is not, not yet reflected in the application. So I click the refresh button and the new to do is added here. So, and the last one for the logout, we can just click this button to log out. And that's all for our uh, demonstration. Thank you.